Lots of changes are coming to Wisconsin's deer hunt this year. The DNR hosted its first meeting in Northeast Wisconsin tonight for input on those changes. Hunters came out to voice their concerns. NBC 26's Jonathan Gregg is live at 10 with more. Stacy, the DNR is coming off a contentious year regarding deer hunting. There continues to be debate over the deer population and how many should be harvested each year. This, while the DNR continues to try and mend fences with hunters. When it comes to Wisconsin's most popular game animal, several hundred thousand deer hunters, and we have several hundred thousand opinions. The DNR is going to hear about it. If change is on the horizon. The deer units, right now we have like 80 of them, 50 of them, 60 of them, too many. Oh, how they're going to control the herd. I think we should have at least a 15 day gun season. DNR's John Huff says dozens of changes could be on the way. Recommendations from a new deer trustee report. What to do with season structures, what to do with, with bonus permits for antlerless deer. Maybe what to do about the baiting and feeding issue in the state. Hunters anticipating change while still butting heads over deer numbers. Most of the hunters don't believe the deer numbers. Hunters often thinking the state is shooting short and setting bag limits too low. And you have to harvest the deer. This year, Wisconsin has expanded hunting in state parks, including High Cliff and Calumet County. Talking about maybe letting people build permanent stands on those, very much against that. The comments, questions, and concerns collected here will be sent to the state DNR board. Also from tonight's meeting, the DNR is concerned about an age gap, saying not enough young Wisconsinites are filling tags. Jonathan Gregg, NBC 26.